What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Detroit Lions video. Um, you know, we have a little bit of Lions news. Um, I know this was kind of a big thing yesterday, but I wanted to wait and kind of make sure that it was actually, you know, official and real that, you know, Jamal, nope, yep, Jamal Agnew was transitioning to wide receiver. Um, but at this point, it seems pretty evident that that is going to happen. Uh, so, you know, I'm just going to talk about it a little bit. But before you get into it, if you are new to the channel and are enjoying the content, consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and sharing it with a Lions or an NFL fan that you think would enjoy the content. Um, you know, we've had a lot of support recently, and I'm very, very appreciative of that. Um, I appreciate every single person that subscribes and likes a video, or even somebody that just watches a single video. I'm appreciative to them, too. So, with that being said, let's get right into the, the, uh, the Lions news that is kind of rare right now. Um, so, it came out yesterday that Jamal Agnew, uh, our kick and punt returner and cornerback, is going to transition to wide receiver. Um, obviously, he didn't play a ton of cornerback for the Detroit Lions. Um, he was primarily a kick and punt returner. Um, in his career, he had 679 punt return yards and three touchdowns and 866 kick return yards and a touchdown. Um, you know, so he's a pretty good return man, um, but he has a big problem with fumbling the ball. Um, you know, in his three-year career, he has five fumbles on punt and kick returns. Um, you know, and he didn't even play a lot in his sophomore season because he was injured for a majority of it. So he wasn't even able to play a lot of that season and still had a fumble um, there. And, you know, he just, he, you can't put a player on the field if he's going to turn the ball over. I think that's why we drafted Jason Huntley. Um, you know, I think that's the reason that maybe Ty Johnson even takes over kick return. That's the reason that he got benched last year for Danny Amendola. Um, you know, you can't have a player fumbling the ball. No matter how good they are with the ball in their hand, with, no matter how good they are with the ball in their hands, if they can't actually catch the ball and hold on to it, you know they can't do anything with it before they have it, basically. Um, so he's transitioning to wide receiver. Um, you know he's there's a lot of competition at cornerback. Uh, obviously, we brought in Trufant, we brought in Okuda, uh, we brought in even Daryl Roberts. We signed uh, Justin Coleman a couple years ago. We drafted Amani, who's a stud. Um, you know, Mike Ford even isn't too bad at the cornerback position. Um, but you know, there's a lot of competition there and I don't think that Jamal Agnew is going to even have a role, um, on the defensive side of the ball, or I don't think he would have if he had stayed at cornerback. Um, and obviously wide receiver has a lot of competition too with Kenny Galladay, Marvin Jones, Danny Amendola, Geronimo Allison, um, you know, Quintus Cephas. Uh, you know, all of these guys that are competing, they're veterans, they've been wide receivers for a majority of their life, um, you know, and they know, you know, everything that there is to know. They are one of the, they are the top 1% of wide receivers in the world, and now Jamal Agnew is deciding to switch positions. Um, but I don't think he's going to play wide receiver for the Lions a whole lot. Um, back in his rookie season, he kind of played on offense a little bit. He had a couple of touch passes from Stafford that got decent yardage. Um, you know, he was kind of used as a little bit of a gadget player. And then when Jim Bob Cooter was fired, you know, we didn't really do that a whole lot with him. But, um, you know, even if he does that, I or I don't even think that will be his role next season. Uh, I personally, and this could be, you know, just my opinion, I think he's transitioning to wide receiver just to get more um, practice with catching the ball, looking it in, um, you know, learning how to, you know, control the ball before you actually look up um, and just getting a lot of practice with that so he doesn't fumble on kicker turns. Um, now, granted, I I don't play football. I'm not a kicker turner. I'm not a wide receiver. I'm not a cornerback, anything like that. Um, so I don't know if that skill transitions, but I would assume that catching the football is catching the football, whether it's from a punt, a kickoff, or from, you know, a toss from your quarterback. Um, you know, personally, I just think that he is transitioning to get more reps with receiving the football, getting it under control before looking up, and then once he looks up his athleticism, his, you know, twitchiness his you know electricity could take over and he can have a very good season for the lines like he did in his rookie season without the fumbling problems you know without every punt return you are crossing your fingers hoping that Jamal Agnew catches the football um just so the offense can get on the field if he doesn't return it but um you know those are kind of my opinions um I think that this was a good move for him I think that if he is just doing this to get more reps I think that was smart because he's not going to play at cornerback Probably won't play as a wide receiver, but as a punt returner and kick returner, I think it's essential that he has good hands to catch the football. Um, and obviously that's his biggest weakness. So transitioning to a position that works on that every single day, um, you know, that's the primary thing that you need to work on as a wide receiver. I think that's a good move for him just to get more comfortable catching the football um, and make sure that those fumbling issues go away. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments below about this move. Uh, whether you think it was the right move for his career, the wrong move for his career. 
Um, you know, let me know why you think he did it if you have a different opinion than me. But, you know, with that being said, that's, you know, the only news we've had in a while. If there's more, um, I'll obviously make a video letting everybody know. But if not, um, you know, I'll be back later with another video. Um, so, yeah, that's all I got for today. Have an absolutely fantastic day to everybody that watches this video. And thank you all for watching.